Kyle Kirkwood, you just won yourself an Indy Lights race. David Malukas, you're still holding the championship lead by five Ooh. points. <laughs> you want it to be 500, but the guy on your right says, no, you can't do that. I love the fact that yet again, we have an Indy Lights one-two battle like we've had in recent years with Askew and Pato and so on. Before we get to today's event, just tell me about the two of you and this rivalry that seems to be a good one, but also an intense one. Yeah, I mean, it is a good rivalry. I mean, but I have nothing against it. I, I love it, you know? It's Aww. me and Kyle have been around since we were <laughs> little kids. I mean, I, I don't know, for me, I remember looking up to him. Like, I remember doing it in Palm Beach. Like, we'd be in the go-karts. I'd be like, wow, look at Kyle. His line's so smooth, you know, just watching him. <laughs> He's old, too, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not not old, but just, you know, I just kept a few more years. But I remember looking up to him, and now, you know, we're both here in Indy Lights. It, we could have taken many different paths, you know, could have gone to Europe or gone somewhere else, and now we're both ended up here, which is very cool to see from my point of end. And I wouldn't want to have this rivalry with anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> there are going to be some friendship bracelets coming out after this event. Oh, here. actually, I already, I already have. I don't have one. Though. I have one. I, I can, I can. It's, I'll ask JJ to get you one. Yeah, you we can get matching one. You dirty Floridian. You don't even. Oh my goodness. All right, so you get to hold the mic up to his Go. beautiful face or hand it to him. Kyle, you're needing to win, right? Obviously, you've uh, you guys have been battling back and forth. Tell me about today, and there's still more work to do at future races. But tell me about this. How are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, I feel ecstatic to be honest. We we started it off this weekend on the back foot with the two qualifying, qualifying fourth and fifth. Um, definitely isn't ideal for a championship battle, especially when all of its all of their teammates <laughs> are with them. And I'm like, man, I got to get around all of them, uh, which I knew would be a feat. But today. To get a win is super important for the championship battle. It keeps us in it. Um, we're a little, we were getting a little bit too far back, and I was like, we're kind of just damage management at this moment. And um, I think we're both confident that our cars are going to be really good at Laguna. So that we're not sure which one's going to shake up to be the better car. But that's kind of how it's been. I think we're very comparable drivers. We've got a lot of respect for each other. Like today, I mean, he could have drove me right into the dirt going outside of two if he wanted to, but. I mean, we, we raced really clean, you know, and we got a lot of respect for each other. So it's coming down to who's got the better car for each weekend. And this weekend, I think they had the better car, but our race car happened to be pretty good, I think, as the race progressed. So I was I was very happy with that. We were able to get that win today, which keeps us in the championship hunt. Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen can't stop running into each other. But our two Indy Lights contenders, they can. All cars report to the yeah. grid. All cars to the grid at this time. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I was going into one and two. I was like, uh oh, this is going to look like a Max Verstappen. Yes, Hamilton let's not do that. Dude. Let's close on this, guys. So you have a Lights Championship to settle here in the coming weeks. Also, we're at the end of the IndyCar season. Your names, the two of you, are definitely on the tongues of idiots like me writing about silly season stuff <laughs> right share with me the both of you what it's like trying to get business done with a championship valuable prize advancement that comes with it yeah. while also having to keep an eye on the future because folks are talking to you it's uh, to go to your point about the the uh, the prize championship that's super important for I think both of us it's obviously a very good incentive for any IndyCar team to take it take us but I'd have to say the racing that we've had between each other in the past two events has just proven that we deserve to be in one of those seats because I mean we're we're neck and neck every single weekend and we haven't collided except for my mistake at the very beginning of the season so we've been able to race really hard very clean and I think our skills are kind of proving to show that we deserve a seat in the IndyCar. What about you David tell me how you're managing the trying to get the job done while also trying to figure out 2022. Yeah I mean like he said it's that win would be great. I mean, one point, what is it, 1.4 million? I mean, I would love a bit of 1.4 million. Okay, 1.25, there you go. I mean, that's almost a lot of money. But, but I think, like he said, what we did in St. Louis, what we did here, throughout the whole season, I think we've raced, I mean, ecstatic. Like, we would give enough room, we would make it a good show, and I think we've proved that we can be an IndyCar. So I think if we win it, if we don't, for either of us, I think we've shown what we can do, and I think we do deserve a spot for an IndyCar seat, you know, just to show what we can do over there. Get that friendship bracelet going, Kirkwood. It's a little awkward right now. Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully we, you know, we just both, luckily, you know, the, the stars align, we both end up there, and then we just can compete, continue having this championship over there. Even though we have this rivalry, <laughs> even though we have this rivalry, 
I think we could actually end up being really good teammates together. Because like like you said, we grew up on the same karting team. Like I think we were back in, I want to say we stayed in the, ho the same hotel room together in like 2012 or 2010, something like that in karting. So we're on the same karting team. We know each other really well, which I think is what's kind of allowed us to race the way we have with each other. We know each other's tendencies and there's so much respect between us both.